welcome back to another Cinema 4D tutorial. Uh, this one I'm just going to show you guys how to kind of create a, a river of flowing particles. Um, so let's just jump right into it. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to build a plane. And I'm just going to up the width and height segments. And let's just go ahead and make this quite a bit larger. And let's just go ahead and make it editable. And let's take a look at all of our segments. I'm going to jump into the top view and grab my live selection tool. Um, turn this radius down to one and make sure it's set to soft selection. And I'm just going to kind of paint or paint selection. And let's take a look at what we got. Kind of have this zigzagging pattern, this river. I'm just going to pull this down like that. And Let's go ahead and just leave that as is for now. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a um, just create a sphere. We're going to make this a bit smaller, and then we're going to create a particle emitter. Make this a child or the sphere a child emitter. So if we click play, we see particles coming out, but we don't see our sphere yet. So we'll just go in here and click show objects. And now we see these bubbling particles coming out. Let's make our sphere even smaller. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put this, oops, not the sphere, but the emitter near the mouth of my kind of little river valley I just made. And I'm going to rotate this around. And I'm gonna adjust the size of the emitter on the Y something a bit smaller but make it a bit wider as far as the birth rate let's go something like 100 yeah, let's go bigger 150 make sure it's the same on the render so that it renders the same let's up the speed a little bit and let's see what we have here okay cool so we've got a ton of particles or objects flowing out of it with the emitter highlight I'm gonna go back to simulate and I'm gonna add gravity and now we're gonna have these balls shooting out, resembling more like what we've done before with like liquid and water and stuff. Uh, we don't have any particle interaction yet. So what we're gonna do is on the plane, we are going to put a collider body and on the sphere, since this is the thing that's gonna be falling, uh, this is going to be a rigid body since it has the gravity already. And we're going to make sure that the plane's shape, if we just play this, you'll notice it's not interacting with our valley. So you want to make sure that your shape is set to a moving mesh. And now we start getting this particle interaction here um, where it's filling up my valley, but I don't have it set up quite yet to flow through there. Um, so let's change a few settings. Um, the first things we're gonna do is we're gonna turn down, I'm just gonna get rid of the friction on both of these and I'm gonna make my bounce very small. So that makes them kind of shoot out a little bit faster. With the emitter we can also change the speed so they come out a little bit more furiously, but that doesn't really help us either. So I'm gonna keep that at 150. I'm gonna take my plane, and since we are still flat, and I'm just gonna rotate it a little bit, and I'm gonna take my emitter and bring it up. And my sphere is still a little big, so let's bring that down in size, and now let's see what we got. And now we're getting a nice flow of balls happening here. Let's make sure our emitter is positioned such that none of these little guys are going to go flying off the back. And there's not much we can do because we have these collisions going on. But we're starting to get this interaction and this kind of flowing river of particles. Um, you know, you're gonna have to play with the settings quite a bit to make it resemble anything that's useful. Um, one thing that you could do is uh, add another plane and give it the same 
rotation as your main plane here. And then we can scale it way up and just drop it down so it's kind of like in the valley a little bit and create a material that's uh, going to represent uh, water and play with the size a little bit but now it kind of distorts the particles and makes them look like they're flowing through water um, so as they kind of go now you kind of have this underwater looking effect of particles streaming down so you know maybe it's a school of fish or I don't know however you want to use this um, and obviously let's just disable that to make it look cooler we could just create some materials just kind of create like a fun red uh, reflective material here and add it to the sphere and it's also create a big just kind of a solid white material for the plane and let's add a nice physical sky and now we're starting to make something that looks a little bit cooler so we can reposition our camera and just kind of let these balls do their thing and obviously I just kind of used a plane to set this up but you could if you want to get more consistent interaction we could just take this to the next level and just use something like a cylinder um, let's move this into place here and kind of play with the scale a little bit doesn't need to have all these rotation segments let's make it editable well, let's just get, get rid of the ends of this bad boy and let's put it right in there and I'm just going to change my emitter size again just giving you a flavor for how to play with the particle emitter so you have a general idea of what it is that you want to do and then obviously as you saw before the last thing we have to do is make this a uh, collider body that is a moving mesh and now if we play now we've got this stream this pipe of balls and we'll give this cylinder the same material so that's kind of you know interesting these things are shooting out of the emitter and flowing down dropping off at the end so really this is just a tutorial on how to use the particle emitter and how to properly put your um, collider and soft and rigid body tags into your scene so you can start getting these um, interesting particle flows and interactions so I um, hope this tutorial was uh, useful um, obviously this application that I built really quickly doesn't do much um, isn't much in the way of useful however this might help you um, you know brainstorm another idea that you have so hope this was helpful thanks for watching